Okay, and now we continue with the extended gameplay for Lord of the Rings. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Now let's see if she can do as well as I did. Or if she just gets stuck with a, with a low hand and ends up just having to buy some more Valor, which would be sad. All right. Oops. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. All right, what you got, Legolas? Hit us. All right, got the bow out, which unfortunately it's worth two and nothing else because the discard pile is not empty. Halder, so that's four power, five, five power total because of two to spare. All right, so that means not all is lost because we can afford the Council of Elrond, the Mines of Moria, or these are for you. What's it gonna be? Let's look at those, shall we? Council of Elrond, awesome. Okay, draw two cards. You know, basically get more cards in your hand is always a good thing. The mine, or actually come back to the Mines of Moria. That was the most unique of these, I think. These are for you, Maneuver. Um, I draw two cards. Now this is a little bit more interesting. It's worth two victory points. Um, in the bottom left corner of the card, tells you how many victory points every card is worth. I just scored four victory points for beating that Nazgul. So these are for you. They both cost the same. These are for you is worth two points. Council of Elrond is only worth one. They both do the same thing. If, I, if Jen plays them, they would let Jen draw two cards. But these are for you has an extra twist. As you can see, after Jen draws two cards, she chooses somebody else and that player gets to draw one card. So Jen could afford either of these. This one's worth more points, but it helps me out every time she uses it. Now, on the flip side, she could also afford Mines of Mori. She could also afford a Vower, but she's definitely not buying that with five power. Now this is interesting. It goes into her discard pile, like any other card, but then later on in the future, when she gets a chance to play it, it stays out on the board for the rest of the game and becomes a permanent ability, an ongoing ability that Jen has. You know, when, when you play this card, leave it in front of you for the rest of the game. So if Jen has it, you know, and it'll take her a while, she'll have to go through the deck, but eventually she'll get to play it. And then from that point on, for the rest of the game, she has a special power. The first time you play an enemy on each of your turns, draw a card. So that's pretty cool. These are all pretty cool. That's actually a fairly tough choice. This is a permanent effect that's a, um, that only lets you draw one card every once in a while um, when you play an enemy, but it's always there. So if Jen, in the future, there's a lot of enemies. There's arch enemies, but there's a lot of regular enemies in here too. So if Jen defeats a lot of enemies and has the Mines of Mori out, it could really help start pumping up a lot more card draws. But that's a bit iffy. Maybe she won't get a lot of enemies. Whereas this and this are both guaranteed drawing bonus cards. But then this one helps me. You know, I think Jen is going to... She's gonna go with the count. She's just gonna play it safe and just wants to draw two cards whenever she can, thanks to the Council of Elrond. So that's what she paid five for. She got the Council, and then, as always, a new thing comes out. And hey, it's another ally. It's Frodo Baggins, the Ring Bearer. All right, my turn. I let's see: one, two, three, four, five. All right, courage. All right, two courages, two despairs. Need really destroy those, and of course, over time, you'll get a chance to destroy and weed out cards. So Mary gives me two power, and remember, lets me look at the top card of my deck and get rid of it if it's no good. So let's see if it's no good. Yerp. It's a courage. See, now, if it had been a despair, I would definitely have said, okay, well, hey, yeah, um, discard it, but I want all the courage I can get. And I think, actually, I've gone through all my despair now, haven't I, in my deck? Um, yep, yeah, there's, there's one, there's the other two, so... Uh, Mary, but anyway, still, I have a total of four power, which means I could afford to recruit this Frodo card, or I could buy another Valor. And this Valor is just two plus two power, but Frodo is plus two power, plus other stuff. If you play or have played another ally this turn, you may destroy a card in your hand or discard pile. Hey, I could get rid of that to spare. So definitely, that's a keeper. And then a new card comes out, and it's um, the Even Star Pendant. I thought it was uh, Arwen, but it's not. Anyway, another expensive thing. Okay, let's see if Jen can afford anything. One, two, three, four, five. Four courage. Jen cannot afford anything on the display, so she'll just buy a Valor. Easy peasy. My turn. One, two, and a hey, deck's empty. Okay, so you know the drill. If you ever played a deck builder before, you well, if you've never played a deck builder before, here's what you gotta know about deck builders. You shuffle your deck a lot. Uh, and you gotta do a good job shuffling it. All right, so this that'll do. And let's see what else comes in my hand. Three, four, five. Ugh, that is a terrible draw. Um, a despair, three courage, and Mary. Now Mary lets me take a peek at the top of my deck. What is it? 
I don't want to throw Gimli away. He's awesome, so I'm not going to discard him. Anyway, so, so that means I've got a total of two, three, four, five. Five power. Yep, that, let, that means I can afford to buy something. Hooray! What am I going to buy? These are for you. Uh, it lets me draw two cards and lets Jen draw one or the mines. You know what the heck? I've already defeated one enemy and I've got Gimli, so I'm probably going to do pretty good at fighting other arch enemies. I'm going to take this Mines of Moria for five. Boom. What's new, Magoo? You shall not pass. Alrighty. Another maneuver. And it's a nice low cost one. I mean, Jen's having a really hard time getting any money, so maybe she'll be able to get that. Hey, there's her light and a courage and a valor and time to shuffle. The road goes ever on and on. Over rocks and under stone. I don't remember the words. Uh, anyway, there we go. Four, five. Despair and Halder. Okay, so what's that total? That's two, four, five. And now, Jen. Now, unfortunately, Jen cannot peek. She has no way to peek ahead of time at what's at the top of her deck. But the light says, hey, when you play it, take a guess. If you guess right, you'll get four. Otherwise, you'll get one. And you can't guess a standard. So I can't guess despair or courage, even though that's most likely what it is. Huh. You know what? I'm going to guess then that it's the bow. It's, uh, it's Legolas's bow. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? No, it's a despair. So I couldn't have done it anyway. So that means this is worth one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Jen can buy something nice for herself, all right? Or interestingly, she could buy two. She could get the "You Shall Not Pass," which is a draw draw a card, always nice, and it's a defense card as well. So if I ever get an attack card that I could play on Jen, or I get you know, or, or, then Jen, my, if she has this in her hand, it would defend her, and it lets her draw a card. So that's pretty cool. So she had a total of six. So does she want to get this plus another Valor, which is spending five? Or does she want to get another card? Let's see. The Even Star Pendant. This is another one of those name a card at the top, and if you reveal it, plus eight. So you can imagine this plus a card that lets me see ahead of time what's in my deck is great. Jen doesn't have any of those yet, so she doesn't want that. Gandalf, plus three and draw a card. Oh, but she can't afford it. She only had six. That's a seven. Strider, plus three and a quest. This becomes an objective that Jen wants to keep pursuing. At the end of the game, this card is worth five victory points if you have five or more allies in your deck. So now that's pretty nice. That means Jen really, when she has a choice of what she could buy, she should want to focus on getting more allies, which is to say more green cards. So that's pretty cool too. And then there's also, you know, that. So does she want to pay the full six? She, this isn't worth it because she can't peek at her cards. She already has one card that will rarely work. Does she want to you know, give herself the goal of trying to recruit more allies? Or does she want to be able to get two cards, more power, and more drawing? And you know, I think she's going to take the defense. Which means she didn't spend all, but she got to draw two cards. And let's see what comes out. Gandalf's Fireworks. Alrighty, an artifact. Alright, my turn. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, alrighty, this is pretty nice. Three courage plus four five from Gimli, and um, and then the sword is worth depending on how many unique uh, one two. So the sword is worth one two, three four five six seven. I got a total of seven power, and Gimli means I have to pay two less for arch enemies. You bet it. You guessed it. It's time to defeat the Moria Swarm. So all these guys come together, and I have defeated my second arch enemy. And basically, thanks to Gimli and some lucky draws, I'm really kind of pulling into the lead here. Alrighty, so I have defeated that. And now this is a card when I draw it. It's plus three power, and I can gain an artifact from the path. Only an artifact, though, and put it into my hand. Very cool. And now, before we're done, though, we are now going to suffer, each of us, both Jen and I will now suffer a group ambush. Each player reveals his hand and discards all revealed artifacts. Now, um, I don't care because, of course, I had no, my hand was completely empty. Jen has to reveal her hand, which I hasn't, haven't drawn yet. Although, does she have any artifacts? I guess she, her bow is an artifact. Well, you know what? She had no artifacts anyway, so she reveals no artifacts, so the group ambush didn't really matter. But anyway, I've just scored five more points. And I have now revealed the new villain, the Cave Troll, who, uh, his group ambush, each player reveals a random card from their hand, destroy it. 
if it shares the cost with another revealed card. So if both Jen and I randomly reveal a card that costs two, we'd both lose one. So that's pretty scary. But it also it's kind of a long shot of whether that'll happen because it's totally random. Anyway though, it's Jen's turn. And what did she get? She got not too terribly much. Courage, courage, despair, courage. Three lousy points to spend. How terrible is that? She can't afford anything, she gets a valor. Ugh. And meanwhile, I'm just screaming ahead. All right. One, two, three, four. And it's time to shuffle. And hey, my Nazgul came up. Let's see. I'm trying to play long enough to get to an ambush, but so far there have been no ambushes yet. And no, eh, it's, it's, all right. Anyway, five, let's see what I got. Oh my goodness, look at this. All right, my despair isn't gonna do me any good, nor those. So Frodo is two power, and if I play or have played another ally this turn, I can destroy. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any more allies in my hand, so I don't get his special power, but I get two power, four power, and then the sword is um, one, two, three, because there are three unique powers. So the sword is three, four, five, six, seven. Seven power I've got, and I don't get Brota's special ability, but I do get the Nazgul special ability of you may gain a card from the path for a cost. So I get to draw a free card of value five or less. So I'll just take these or you. It's the most valuable card. And now I've still got two, three, four, five, six, seven cards, six, seven power to spend. So I get to take another card. And what the heck, I'll take Gandalf the Grey because he's a seven. Boom. And two cards come out. Boromir and uh, an enemy. Okay. Now. When you know, bad luck for Jen, she just continues to fall behind. Uh, at the end of your turn, when you refill the path, if an ambush, or if, or if more ambush cards for that matter, are revealed, the next player is the one who gets hit by that ambush. So I just get to sit by and watch and laugh as Jen now gets hit by the Black Riders. So on her hand, um, let's see, well first of all, she already has her hand of five cards, right? One, two, three, four, five. All right, actually, uh, finally, a good hand for her. She's looking forward to doing it. She gets to draw two cards. She's got power. I believe the bow will work because there's more than 10 cards in the discard pile. So she'll get to draw three more, uh, three more cards and have a lot of power. This is finally gonna be Jen's first really big move. She might even have enough to take out the cave troll depending on what she draws. But since um, a black rider came up, first of all, she's gotta deal with that before her turn starts. Ambush, reveal your hand and discard each revealed arch enemy. Okay. Jen got lucky. Jen has not found any arch enemies yet. She hasn't defeated any, so her, that ambush did not hurt her at all. All right, so it's her turn. And, let's see, yeah, this is definitely more than 10 cards. So Jen gets to draw one, two, three more cards. And that means I gotta reshuffle because her deck is empty. And let's give her some more good stuff because, I mean, she's had, a, she's had a string of bad luck for a while. She needs to start catching up here. All righty, come on, three more cards. Make them good ones. Make them good ones. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, they're all special cards. This is going to be nice. Okay, let's do it. All right, so not a single despair among them. Wow. Okay, so two courage plus three, four. So that's four power off the bat. And she's already drawn the card because of her bow. Four power, five, six, seven, eight. She's already drawn her two cards. Um, you shall not pass. Let you draw another card. A despair. Oh, finally she got a bad card. And the defense isn't going to help with anything because um, she's not being attacked right now. And then finally, her right. And of course, again, she cannot, she has no idea what the top card is, but she has to take a guess at what it might be and either get one power or four power. Oh, gosh, I can't remember what it is she has now. What new things has she got? You know what? She's picked up several Valor cards. I'm going to say it's a Valor card. Boop. Dun, dun, dun. It was a Valor card. Oh my gosh. This is a good move for Jen. I got to tally this up again. That's two plus four is six. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 power. Okay. Legolas. He is starting to get into that rapid fire bow action that we all know and love from the film. Okay, he's, you know, sliding down Oliphant trunks and all kinds of craziness. 15 power. And now there's no limit on the stuff you can buy other than the power. Also, she could afford now to take out the troll. That would be nine. Um, and that would leave her with six more so she could buy something out here. Or alternatively, uh, if, she, if she gets the four, 
She could get, she could afford three cards, you know, 12, no, no, oh, these are all sixes. So she cannot afford to get three cards because a six plus a six plus a four would be more than 15. So I think for stars, she is gonna get the cave troll. And that's gonna force every player to reveal a random card from their hand, destroy each revealed card that shares a cost with another revealed card. Um, let's see. All right, so I'll worry about that in a second because I haven't drawn my hand yet. But anyway, so that's gonna be nine. She gets six more. Mm. Now she could get another Valor and the four pointer. Let's see, do any of these let her peak? This is another peak and if you guess, or this is another, have you previously peaked, if you guess right, you get a bunch of power. You may gain a card from the path with exactly cost five and put it in your stack. So whenever fivers are out, this is pretty cool. Plus four power, nice. Plus three, and this is a quest, oh, this is that quest card she didn't take before, she still can take it. And the Black Riders, which is plus three power. And it has two things, it's plus three power, plus every other player has to discard a random card, unless of course they've got a defense. I think Jen's gonna take this because, um, one, if she recalls, I think I'm the one who got the card that benefits me the more enemies I have, plus this gives her a chance to start attacking me and maybe catch up because she's fallen so far behind. So she's gonna spend six on this to get the Black Riders and nine on the Cave Troll. Right, and now the Cave Troll has a group ambush right now. Jen doesn't have anything in her hand because she spent everything to get it, but let's see, my hand was, actually let's not even look. Three, oop, ah. Uh, three, four, five, and now I've got to discard one of these randomly because of, oh no, first of all, wait, I, let's look at my hand, because if I had any defense, but I don't, I have no defense cards, I've got two fellow cards, oh, which one is going to get discarded? Uh, oh wait, no, it's not discarded, I'm sorry. No, actually, oh, it doesn't really matter at all, because since Jen had no um, cards left in her hand to reveal, because she played all her cards, I believe, right? Well, she didn't have to play her despair. Actually, I'm not 100% certain about this. Uh, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Does all, do all, I mean, I've already played these cards, so in theory, it doesn't really matter they're in my hand. But I guess if I hadn't played this despair, then Jen still has the despair in her hand. So Jen, you know, she's gonna reveal a random card, that's despair. I'm gonna reveal a random card, and I don't know what it is, let's say it's this one, and it's a courage, wow, okay. That worked out well for Jen. Because each player reveals a random card from their hand. Destroy each revealed card that shares a cost with another. These both cost zero. They both get destroyed. They both reveal the game. Jen is happy. She got rid of one of her despairs. I am sad. I got rid of one of my courages. Although really, the gra in the grand scheme of things, I don't mind too much. If I had to lose something, losing the courage wasn't too bad. All right, and so now Jen has recruited the cave troll. At the end of her turn, another bad guy comes out. Now it's the Watcher in the Water. Um, which a group ambush. Each player discards a random card. Who discard the highest card? Get... Uh, Discards two, so wow, it's insult to injury on that one. And then finally, another card comes out to replace what Jen bought. It's pipe weed, and it's another artifact to buy. And so it's my turn, and unfortunately now, I've only got a hand of four cards because I lost one of my courage. But my hand is Mary, plus two power, Gimli, so that's four, five, six power. And I'm not gonna be able to take the Watcher of the Woods, or the Watcher of the Water. Six power. Got a lot of interesting choices here, and I think I probably wanna take her. Oh, oh, but also, look at the top card of my deck and discard it if I want. It would have been a Courage. Alrighty. I'm actually tempted to discard it so that I can get to my other stuff faster and better. But a Courage is good no matter what. I'll keep it. But I think I am... Mm, I'm thinking about, I'll take that because if she and he ever come out at the same time, that's a great way to score 8 power immediately. Alright, so that's what I bought. New card comes out, and it is another ally. Bilbo himself, plus one power. You can discard a card with cost zero if you do draw a card. Okay, so that's a nice way to get rid of despair and whatnot because look at this guy. He would remove despair from anybody. All right, or corruption for that matter. We haven't gotten any corruption yet. Anyway, though, it's Jen's turn. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see, despair and despair. Fortunately, those are only two despairs, so it's all good now. Um, so that's two, three, four power total. And does that mean you... Oh, no, she can get the fireworks. Or she could afford a Valor and a Pipeweed. Let's look at the Pipeweed. Plus one power and draw a card. Pass this card to the discard pirate. So you, it's nice, but you don't get to hold on to it for long. And it's worth zero points. Hmm. So I, Jen could get a plus one power and a draw card, but she'd give it to me eventually and plus two power. Or Gandalf's Fireworks, which is plus one power, and you can gain a card from the path. Jen needs to start catching more, so she's gonna do that. All right, that was her turn. 
Hey, an ambush, and I get hit by this ambush this time. So first of all, let's have my hand. One, two, three, four, five. I don't have any defense cards. I haven't bought any yet, so I know I don't have any defense. So what's this ambush do to me? Put a location you control into your discard pile. Hey, I don't have any, I have not, none of my locations have come out yet, so it doesn't really matter. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, boom. And hey, what do you know? Now the location comes out. I am gonna put it into play. This is a permanent ability I have. Whenever I play an enemy card, uh, on my turn, I get to draw a card. And when you know, I drew an enemy card. So let's play this hand out. So, I'm gonna play the Morius Swarm, which is plus three power, and it lets me gain an artifact from the path and put it directly in my hand. There's only one artifact out there, so I will take it. So I immediately get the Pipe Weed. Alrighty, so that's pretty cool. And, since I have played an enemy, thanks to the Mines of Moria, and I played the Moria Swarm, I get to draw another card. It is the last one for my hand, Courage. Okay, so I got two Courages some despair. So I got three courages, and now I've also got this pipe weed, plus one, so that's another power, and I get to draw a card, and my hand, deck is empty, so I gotta reshuffle. Oops. Arg. Alrighty. And I got to draw one more because of the pipe weed. And it was a despair, lame. So anyway, so my, after all of that silliness and all of that business, I have one, two, three, four power, because of two despairs, all right. So I got four power, Now I already drew the card, right? Yeah, it was the despair that I drew. Um, all right, so four power, and pass this card to this card, so this goes now into Jen's discard pile. So four power, I can afford, hey, that guy who ambushed me, I'll go on ahead and buy him now. Because remember, I like having enemies because the more enemies I have, the more cards I get to draw thanks to having the Mines of Moria. Okay, so that was the end of my turn. Two more cards come out. It's a Mirror of Galadriel. And finally, all right, I knew I'd get to one eventually someday. This is a fortune card. You'll notice it costs nothing. It's worth no points, but these are total, crazy, super powerful, happy day, lucky cards that if they come out on your turn, you just get a big boost. All right, and it just so happened it came out on Jen's turn and that's good because she needs the boost. Anyway, so I'm discarding down and I leave my Minds of Mori out. It's a permanent effect I have unless it gets bumped for something. So anyway, it's Jen's turn. She draws one, two, three, and she's got to reshuffle. Alrighty, four, five, okay. Let's see, and so let's see, she's got two courage plus Halder, so that's four power, five power, six, seven, and unfortunately her discard pile is empty, so the bow, the bow came out at the wrong time. You really want that to come out at the end of the deck, not the beginning of the deck, but anyway. So that's um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, not bad. Let's see what she's gonna do. First of all, she is gonna buy this gift, whatever it is, for zero. When you buy or gain this card, play it immediately, then destroy it. Reveal the top card of the main deck, gain it, and put it in your hand. So like I said, these are always awesome. Now this is a little bit random. Maybe this will be an awesome card, maybe it'll be not so great, who knows. But anyway, so Jen um, has a gift. So that gets destroyed, removed from the game, and Jen immediately puts into her hand another fortune card. Hey, what do you know? Um, when you buy or gain this card, Jen just gained it, play it immediately, then destroy it. Destroy up to two cards in your hand and or disc... What? Oh my god. That is horrible. Her discard pile is empty. She has despair, she can get rid of. None of it's in her hand. I don't think this is optional. When you buy or... And she, she has no choice. <sighs> this is terrible. She has to do it now. When you gain it, play it immediately, and then destroy it. She has to just lose two cards. And they're all good cards. That is lame. So Jen has to lose. She was going to have an awesome turn, and uh, the stupid gift turned out to be casting her courage into the fire. That is pathetic. That is awful. All right, well, bad luck for Honey. Could have gotten rid of that despair, but no. Oh, has. All right, anyway, so back, anyway, continuing on. She's now got one, two, three, four, um, one, two, three, four, five power. Measly five. She should never have taken that gift. What can she do? She can't afford any of these, but she can afford this plus this. I'm not even going to look at it. She's just going to take them. Oh, but good look. It's one of them is look at the top card of your deck. So now she has some peaky cards. All righty, so that was her turn. Now a whole bunch of stuff comes out. A maneuver, an ambush. So I'm going to get hit by an ambush. 
and another maneuver. So let's draw it by hand. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. And now I'm going to have to choose, and I have to choose to discard two cards. And unfortunately, I've got all good cards. No despair in my hand. So I guess I'll discard a courage. And what else am I going to discard? Plus three power, plus um, two, but it's really plus four if I'm going after a bad guy. Plus two, and look at the top card of my deck. And that right now, Aragorn's sword is worth um, one, two, three, four points. So Aragorn's but, oh, but as soon as I discard a card, Aragorn's sword goes down to three. Um, I guess I'm not going to go for, so I'll get rid of Gimli because I'm not going to go for it. Wait, see, it's going to be three, four, five, six, seven, or see, so it'd be three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, you know what? It is going to be Mary. Mary, you're gone. The ambush made you go, but that's okay because I've still got enough. I am so powerful. Three, four, five, six, seven, because I'm going after an arch, and then eight, nine, ten. Ten points lets me beat this um, Watcher in the Water. Oh, actually, wait, I, forgot, I missed it. Gandalf gets to draw a card, so let's look at that, and it's Frodo, plus two power. You, uh, if you play or have played another ally this turn, you can destroy a card in your hand or discard pile. So I did play another ally. Is there anything in my discard pile I'd like to destroy? I think there is, I think. I can see all the way at the bottom, yep. So, thanks to Frodo the Ring Bearer, I got to destroy a Despair. That's nice. So now, um, things have changed a little bit. I've got uh, one, two, three, or, oh, oh, actually, how many, oh no, these are still fours, so that's still, I haven't taken you out yet, so that's one, two, three, Aragorn sword is worth three, plus Gandalf is six, seven, eight for Gimli, nine, ten for Frodo. So I've got ten total, the Watcher cost me seven, so I'll defeat the Watcher, it's cost me seven thanks to Gimli, and it's going to co cause a group ambush, but let me do the other thing first, I have three left over. Which means I can either afford this Urukai Scout. Oh, hey, this Valor should not be there. This should be a different card. Oopsie. Oh, and Moria Orcs. Oh, so I can afford Moria Orcs or Urukai Scout. I'll take the Orcs. They're worth three. And remember, because I want to have more enemies, so the Mines of Moria helps more. Anyway, so I got the Moria Orcs. And with my leftover, I defeated the Watcher in the water. And now there's a group ambush. Every player discards a random card. I've got nothing in my hand, so I don't have anything to discard. The player who discards the card with the highest cost discards two more cards. So let's look at Jen's hand, shall we? And Jen had to discard a random. One, two, three, four, five. And it has to be a random one. La, 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 la. Okay, and so she'll discard this one. It was. Her shall not pass. And since she discarded the highest value card, she has to discard two more random ones. One, two. So Jen just got hosed, and now for her turn, she only has two cards in her hand. And let me guess, I bet she gets ambushed too. No, she doesn't, all right. So she's got four power total on her turn. What can she do? I guess she'll get another you shall not pass, and a, what the hell, she'll just get those two things. And I do not get ambushed. Everything is going my way. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, what do you know? I got an enemy, which means I'm going to get to draw another card because of my Minds of Moria. I better reshuffle my Uber deck now, which is just getting better and better while I just pull out further and further ahead of Jen because of just crazy luck. I mean, God, that double gift thing was ridiculous. All right, so. Um, I, since I'm playing, I get to draw another, oh, I, I, I see, I have to play first, so I'll play this guy, hey, I, so I get to draw another one. Um, and I'll play Frodo, which, if you play another ally in your turn, oh, I don't have any more allies, so I don't get to do my, I don't get to discard my, or, um, yeah, discard the despair, or destroy this despair. But anyway, so that's two, um, three, oh, hey, draw two cards. Um, a courage, and, ah, uh, shoot. I was really hoping for, because if it had been another ally, then Frodo would have worked. Also, Jen now gets to draw a card. So she's going to have six cards in her hand. Three, four, five, six for her next turn. Um, anyway, so I played that. And I played this. Two power, three, four, five, six. And now I've got to take a guess. I'm going to guess that it's my sword, the Aragorn sword. It's not, it's Gandalf the Grey. So I didn't do it, so that's one more point instead of eight more points. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven car, seven power that I've got to spend. 
Blah, blah, blah. Uh, another, oh yeah, Moria Orcs are great too because the more of them you have, the more, the more powerful they get. So anyway, that was three of my seven and I'll pay another three and don't tip me full. All right, so that was the end of my turn. Alan Dill and another don't tip me full. Jen's card, she's got a whole bunch. Let's see, so what'd she get? Uh, a bunch of fancy cards, all right. Oh, unfortunately a despair. She only got one, it keeps showing up. All right, so this is nothing. This is one, two, three, four. Five, and you may gain a card from the path with exactly a cost of five and put it on the top of your deck. Um, so she can take Steel Sharp or Endel. That's three power, or draw a card, and you can destroy a card in your hand or discard. She'll take the three power. All right, and put it on top of your deck. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and she gets to draw another card. Hey, hello, Endel. Six, seven, eight, nine, and now this has to go away to my discard pile. So Jen's got a total of nine. I forgot to reveal the next arch enemy by the way, who happens to be the Witch King and needs an 11. So Jen can't beat that, but she does have nine points to spend. And now remember, she wants, hmm, how many allies? She's actually bought a few allies. I think she's gonna take Strider. So that's six, because remember he's the one, three power plus five victory points if you have a bunch of allies. So that's six of her nine. And she will, for her other three, she could afford another Valor, she's got plenty of those, plus two power, and it's, it's a, all right, so she'll take that, all right. And so then, one, two, three. And I'm so happy, another Orcs of Moria. I'm just grabbing all these things. These, the more of these you have, the more powerful they come. If you play or have played one or more Moria Orcs this turn, plus four power. So um, if you have a bunch of them and they group up, forget about it. You're, you're, you're laughing all the way to the bank. But anyway, so it's my turn. One, two, three, four. Five. Alrighty, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I get to draw a card because of Gandalf. Hey, it's a watcher. Attack. I get to play this. Every other player discards the top card of their deck. Each uh, play each discarded non-location card as though it were in your hand. And so once again, Jen is going to get hit. She's going to lose a card. Let's see, what would it have been? Um, one, two, oh, let's see, two, three, four, five. That means she would have just freshly reshuffled. And when I do this attack, she has to discard a random card. Oh wait, no, no, it's just a random card from her hand. All right, so it doesn't really matter what's in her deck. So she would have to randomly discard a card. Let's see what it is. She has to discard, nah, not the worst thing in the world, a uh, despair. So now she's only gonna have four cards next turn because of my attack. Oh wait, oh no, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, each other player discards, no, it is from the top of her deck. So that was still in her hand. So her deck did have to. And so she discarded her Bilbo. Oh, she's so sad. Play each discarded non-location card as though it were in your hand. So if Jen had discarded a location card, I would have stole it from her, which would have been evil. And you can imagine with more players, there would have been a better chance of that happening. But anyway, so that's what that was. It was an attack. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight power. I also get to look and, and say, no, I'll keep that there, that's fine. Eight power, um, what am I gonna buy? I can't beat the Witch King. I will just get more Moria Orcs and still sharp. My turn's done, Jen's got five, two cards come out. Hey, uh, let's hope she has a little bit better with the freaking fortune this time. She'll take this, when you buy or gain this card, play it immediately and destroy it, put a card from your discard pile in your hand. So Jen can, well, she only got one. The, which was recently put there, thanks to me. So I guess that kind of worked out okay. So now Jen's got a hand of six in her hand, including the guess one, but she doesn't have a way to peek or guess. So she will guess Valor, and it's not, you shall not pass, no big deal. So that's one, two, three, four. Um, Let's see, oh, but she did get to peek. What was it? It was you shall not pass, which lets her draw a card. She is going to use Bilbo's power to discard a card with a cost of zero, which means she'll draw a card. She just saw what it was, since she knew it was happy, you shall not pass. So she used this power, and um, we already used that, so we've used those two powers, or abilities. So anyway, um, draw a card. Alrighty, so we're gonna get to draw another card. It's a Urukai Scout, that's plus two power. Plus one power, and let's see, plus four power. So this is a big hand for Jen. She's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten power, which is just not enough to defeat the Witch King. So, uh, so close, but so far. Nothing she can do about those. She's got ten total. Just one more point. And I guess 
Remember, she wants fellows so that that Aragorn card will give her bonus points. So that's six of her ten, which leaves her four left over. Does she want Seduced by the Ring or Boromir's Shield? Now, this is plus one power, and you gain a Corruption. But if you do, you, you, if you choose to take a Corruption, you can draw additional cards. So, so this is a cool element, too, that it's an option. If you want to be Corrupt and to draw one Corruption card, which basically is negative one points at the end of the game, you could draw two extra cards. So do you could take that extra power. Jen will avoid the Corruption and shit. She will take Boromir's Shield, which is an artifact, which can be defense and all kinds of stuff. And so these are the two things that are out. And on my turn, one, two, three. Three, I get ambushed, reveal your hand, and discard revealed card that costs three. Let's see if I had any that costs three. Two, three, four, five. I do. I have to reveal and discard that I had a Moria Orcs. That was the ambush. That leaves this in my hand. And you know what? I'm going to stop there. I, boy, I just got carried away. I should have done this as a... Uh, as an intro, as a gameplay run-through and an extended. But instead, I guess I've just done them all because you guys have seen it all. Now, this game is going to end... When I either empty this deck, which is unlikely um, in a two-player game, it's more likely when somebody beats all the remaining bad guys. That's when the game ends, and then we just tally up points. Whoever score, whoever got the most high point scoring cards wins the game. At this point, I almost guarantee that's me because I've had so much good luck. I think I'm running away with it. But um, you know what? I'll count them up right now, and I'll tell you at the beginning of the final thoughts who is in the lead right now. Either way, you can hit the buttons on screen in five, four, three. Two, one.